farmlands, schools, security outposts, village head palace, and many more were among buildings submerged in water. The devastating effect of the flood on the people of Jigawa State can best be described as a service state. Families have lost their loved ones, with over 33 persons already confirmed dead by the state emergency agency. The people are urgently calling for government intervention to address the incessant flood in the state. The flooding has really caused havoc in our community. Some we are sleeping in their house and the flood whipped them away. Government really needs to come to our help. Since I've been in this community, I've never seen this level of flood that caused damage like this. The sad issue is that the government keep promising to address the situation, but no solution has been provided. The flood did not spare the palace of the district head of Gansa in Buji local government area as he was forced to become an internally displaced person taking shelter in a nearby primary school. The situation in Gansa here is honestly devastating. Uh, you can see that uh, I am the first victim I have become an IDP in Gaza now. I have left the house, uh, I'm occupying, you know, I have to leave it. I'm now residing, you know, in an Islamia school. We are still expecting, you know, some relief materials. Uh, some have already come, you know, from SEMA. And uh, some, you know, earlier came, you know, uh, from the state government. And uh, we are hoping that more will come. Access to some communities in Gaza the headquarters of Buji local government area in Jigawa state is practically impossible without the help of the source of transportation. This is the only means of transportation that the people of this residence rely on to gain access to their houses. But of course, some of them cannot even have access to their houses as most of the houses, farmlands here have all been emerged, have all been submerged by water. The flood has indeed devastate many areas in this particular local government. The Executive Secretary of the Jigawa State Emergency Management Agency, Haruna Migari, provides an update on the level of damage caused by the flood. Uh, the situation is so difficult that uh, even the village head has to be uh, evacuated from his house to a safe abode. We have uh, 15 local government that were affected presently. And uh, the death toll reached 33. Uh, 33 persons died in the course of maybe uh, uh, building collapse. Uh, the cause of it is just the volume of water that increases. Uh, we such uh, cases we usually have it when we have the spill of uh, Tiga Dam. Uh, but as at present, the dam was not uh, has not been open. And look at the problem we are having. 7,500 houses were destroyed by the flood water. Uh, usually, mud houses, displaced persons. Almost 44,000 people were displaced from their homes. The state governor, Uma Namadi, while expressing displeasure over the development, said the flood came too early than expected. He said the government is working hard to ameliorate the suffering the flood has cost on the people. And by this time, we are not expecting the flood to happen. We are expecting this toward the end of September and early part of October, when the water will be released from the stumps. By this time, it's the green area. As I today, out of the 14 local governments, the government was able to reach about nine local governments with special aids assistant, relief materials, medical assistant, and the committee are still working. With more rains still expected in the year, the people of Jigawa State will hope that government at all levels will find a lasting solution to the perennial flood that has made many homeless. Ayo Adinaye, Arise News, Jigawa.